Hi, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Angela show with everyone's favorite OBGYN, Dr. Angela Jones. Have you ever been just too embarrassed or shy to ask your own doctor a question about your, you know, private stuff? Well, you have come to the right place to get straight answers. Feel free to ask Dr. Angela anything women's health related. OBGYN, she keeps it real. Pregnancy, she knows what you're expecting. Whole body health, just ask. Dr. Angela has you covered, girl. And now here is Dr. Angela. This is Dr. Angela, everyone's favorite OBGYN, and I would like to welcome you to episode four of the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. Here at Ask Dr. Angela, we discuss everything from fashion, family, politics, and a sprinkling of medicine to top it off. I keep it light, I keep it fun, I keep it very simple. Before we dive in, I'd like to thank you, the listener, for joining us this evening. Today's question comes to us from Jennifer. My name is Jen Wilbert. About how long is your menstrual cycle supposed to last? Also, is it good to have all the blood clots all your menstrual cycle? Jennifer, that's a fantastic question. It's a very common question, actually. I feel like most of the patients that I see during the course of the week are having some issues with their menstrual cycle. It seems to be a running theme these days. Uh, On average, what I will say, Jen, is that uh, the normal cycle, and what I mean by cycle is, you know, the length of days between one period to the next. On average, that's about 21 to 35 days. Uh, But most people actually have their period, or the days that they're actually bleeding, anywhere from two to seven days. And that's just on average. If you're having a period that lasts longer than seven days, um, or that is very heavy, or where you're passing a large amount of clots, that certainly might be a reason to follow up with your OBGYN. Now, certainly, the amount of bleeding that someone is having is certainly subjective. My general rule of thumb for patients is if you're bleeding so heavily and passing so many clots that you're becoming dizzy, lightheaded, Uh, you feel like your heart is racing, these are signs of anemia. Certainly if you're also feeling fatigued, tired all the time, these are signs of anemia. Um, If you feel like you're bleeding so heavily that you're, you know, having to double up on pads, wear super tampons, um, bleeding through your clothes, you can't go to work, you can't go to school, you're basically confined to your house. And ladies, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, periods can be just out. Outrageous. I mean, if you feel like your period is or has taken over your life and you need to reclaim it, then I think that also is a reason to see your OBGYN imminently, like yesterday. Um, I typically tell patients if you feel like you're bleeding so much that it's interfering with your quality of life or prohibiting you from doing what you do on a day to day basis, that definitely is grounds for some kind of treatment, etc. So Jen, in short, uh, to kind of sum up what you asked me, in general, a normal uh, menstrual cycle is anywhere from 21 to 35 days. On average, most people do bleed anywhere from two uh, to seven days. Um, it's not uncommon to pass you know, some clots here or there or some, some tissue, uh, but certainly if it's anything excessive, as I have previously stated, then that would definitely be, again, grounds uh, to follow with your OBGYN so that you can, can discuss uh, potential treatment options. Um, I hope that that has provided some insight and shed some light onto your question, Jen. Because we did feature your question on today's podcast, uh, a member of my team will be reaching out to you, and we will be collecting your information, and we are going to send you an official Ask Dr. Angela t-shirt. For those of you that are listening, if you have a question that you would like addressed or featured on the Ask Dr. Angela podcast, please go to my website. It's www.askdrangela.com, www.ask.angela.com. Thank you so, so, so much for listening this evening. In closing, I would like to end uh, today's podcast with a quote. This one comes to us from Tony Robbins. He says, It's so easy to get caught up today in activity and mistake movement for achievement. Hmm. Until next time, look better, feel better, be better. 
I'm looking forward to reconnecting with you on the next episode of Ask Dr. Angela. Have a great evening. Thank you for listening to the Ask Dr. Angela podcast. For more information on women's health and the show notes for this episode, please visit Dr. Angela at www.askdrangela.com. While you're there, don't forget to leave your own message for Dr. Angela. See you soon. All of the information provided and discussed in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not take the place of consulting a physician. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or cure any diseases or illnesses and does not and should not replace treatment for a medical professional. Listening to and participating in this podcast does not create a doctor-patient relationship between you and Dr. Angela Jones. If you need medical advice or assistance, you should consult a physician. Listening to and participating in this podcast is subject to the terms and conditions posted at drangela.com forward slash terms.